The recursive calls are when a function calls itself. It's another variety of looping. When I actually use recursive calls in a program, which I don't do very frequently, I typically use it because I want to reset every single variable in a function and start the function over. So if I'm creating a game to play hangman or to play cards or some sort of game where I want the user to be able to hit a button that says play again that will reset everything in the function and go back to the start function, that's when I typically do a recursive call. Because to me, it's, it makes more sense to do a recursive call there. It's because it's usually a limited loop. You're looping on demand. But to understand how to make it work, we can redo our traditional while loop or for loop that is used for creating 99 bottles of beer on the wall. And we can do a recursive call that acts the same way. So I have my definition of main, which controls all the primary logic for the program. And then I'm simply calling my function and I'm passing it um, a value of 10. And so in beer song, my function name count will now hold the value of 10. I initialize my variable of num to zero. And while num is less than count, I'll print count nine bottles of beer on the wall and do the song. I subtract one from count here because it's after take one down, passed around. And then I just have main calling my file. And I should get my green check mark. Yep, okay. So to run it, you're going to see that it works exactly the same as a loop. It's just a specific variety of loop that sometimes gives you a few advantages. But anything that you could do with a recursive call, you could do with a loop. It's sometimes just a little simpler if you want to, like I said, do something where the user resets an entire environment, a recursive call can be a good way to do that.